Hi guys, since few months I've been using this awesome new tablet to read my scores from and I got lots of comments, people asking what is it and how is it working and stuff so I decided to record you a video where I explain how it works and uh, when you see what I'm using you can also find lots of YouTube videos uh, explaining in detail so I will only talk about my own experience. If you saw some of my old videos you remember how funny it was me making my sheets and then sometimes I put it on the wall, sometimes I use like insane amount of stands and I was playing always like starting here and then like this and then like that and it of course looked kind of stupid and I got lots of comments saying how funny it looked and everything and what can you do about that? I mean obviously I am too busy to turn the pages which was of course uh, many years of turning pages when I was playing classical music and you had all these books you know and you had to turn I don't remember how annoying it was when you had to study it and you already knew it well enough to be able to get emotional and play it and then you had to stop and turn the page and cut the same emotion and move and go on so of course you had to learn it by heart as soon as possible and still when you learn something by heart you have to always go back and check because with classical music it's very important that you know what's written by composer and sometimes when you play classical music ensembles and you use the sheet music you always have to you know before you go on stage you run around could you please turn the pages and most of people probably don't want to do that but sometimes you you're lucky and you get someone and they do that for you and hopefully they can read the scores and know when to turn it because otherwise you can get in big trouble so all these troubles and I was always hoping why somebody doesn't just make something up some awesome tablet that you don't have to turn pages uh, with your hands that has all your scores and all this trouble just goes away and I just didn't know how it's gonna be I thought maybe it has to listen to you somebody sometimes wrote me maybe <coughs> excuse me uh, maybe it just needs, you know, like every one minute it turns, but as a musician I know that it doesn't work this way. And finally I got these guys writing me and offering to send me the tablet to solve my troubles. And I thought, that cannot be true, that can't be possible, but look at that. So, <coughs> this was my original Shine and You Crazy Diamond cheat. Obviously no way I could play it this way for you. So here I made my quick PDF for Pink Floyd, Shine and You Crazy Diamond. This is not yet my arrangement. Uh, it's just a draft. It's exactly how I make uh, uh, my draft with pen and paper. It just looks a little bit better. You can see that the scores is no way you can play it with one hand. It's just I wrote down everything I can hear in the original song so I have the full picture of what's going on and it allows me to make my arrangement and thanks to this pen I can make quick notes when I have some ideas <coughs> for example this is very important for me when I interpret it because here solo starts so I know that I need to use different touch and different power when I start playing this compared to when I played things before and it's so easy to write things down again it's a razor right now mode here is a pen mode and very easily I can write things down and just as easily I can erase it and there is nothing left because you know when you do that with paper sometimes in the end paper is damaged but here it's not a problem and that's why I was able to make this YouTube video 
to end this arrangement. For example, this last part was extremely complicated. I absolutely had no idea how to write it down. So it was so good to see it so clearly compared to how I wrote it with my hands. You just cannot imagine. It would no way I could read it. So another thing that is very useful for me with this tablet is that I have all of my arrangements here. And why is it useful? It's because during the performance sometimes I, I never know if people maybe prefer a metal program or maybe they are more into softer uh, things and they want me to play more rock or even just classic rock. And not always I know what to expect. So I like sometimes to ask public uh, what they want to hear. And it's very easy with the tablet. Like, for example, I was looking for cry, cry, Crazy, which is because I was looking for Shine and New Crazy Diamond. And here is my arrangement of Arsene's Crazy and the Pink Floyd one. And, for example, I have a gig in Belgium in a few days. And the guy who invited me he had his specific wish list of the songs he wants to hear. And when I was a classical pianist, of course, I always learned my program by heart, it was extremely important, but now I have more things to do, I have arrangements to make, I have sheet music to create, I have things I have to do besides practicing and learning songs by heart. So, I, of course, I wanted to fulfill his wishes and play songs that he wanted to hear, that's why I created set list and it works perfectly. You also can turn pages just with these controls on the sides. But of course when I play, I use a pedal. And here how it works. I use it of course with my foot. It's very easy. And when the song is finished, the next song on the playlist shows up. So people are not even aware sometimes that, you know, I'm reading sheets because everything is done by foot. And with this pen I can write down the time signature of every song. So it's just perfect for my work and for things that I have to do. I could also upload some uh, classical sheet music PDFs that you can find by online. I think Vido also has their own store with arrangements, but basically because I usually only play my own arrangements, I connect this tablet to in to computer with a cable. It's loading just like an uh, external device, and there is a map um, folder, PDF to video. You open it and you load your sheets on this PDF folder, and that's it and they are on a tablet. And by the way, when you open it, you cannot load it back to computer, so your PDFs are safe on your Guido tablet in case somebody else wants to connect the tablet to their computer. Which is also kind of useful for me, for example, you know why. <laughs> so, this is it. This is how it works. It's connected by Bluetooth. But if you feel more safe with the cable, there is also a way to connect it with the cable directly. And in the settings, you go to Bluetooth device. Here it is. It's connected. It's very easy. So you will find every link that you need if you're interested about this device under my video in the description. And now I will just play for you a classical piece, Chopin, Etude Opus 10, number 3, and I will demonstrate how I am doing it, reading it from the video, with the pedal to turn the pages. 